Hello. And welcome to Hi. Uh, Hello and welcome to Mystery Monday. As you can see, Dustin is blindfolded today. If you don't know what that means, then you're in for a real surprise. You ready? And today on the barrel. I didn't I I will say the things. Oh. <laughs> I'm ready. And today on the barrel, this surprise. Surprise, 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 surprise. On Mystery Mondays, if you haven't been to a Mystery Monday before, I'm now going to pour this whiskey. We're not going to talk about it because he doesn't know about it. Well, we're going to so. talk about it eventually. No. Shh. Well, I'm not also able to speak. I mean, um, I'm... Perfect. <laughs> it's great for us. <laughs> Damn it. Wow. That was quiet. That was such a quiet. Oh, cause someone got on my toe. <laughs> Don't what smell it. Don't smell it, you're a cheater. It dripped right in between my toes. Well, Dustin's wiping off his foot. Uh, no, I'm leaving it there. It's if gonna you, help me. If you Dude. haven't liked and subscribed and you like feet, I guess. <laughs> okay, that's a different <laughs> website. Like and subscribe. Anyway, uh, you can unblindfold. Oh. The rivets on here, or whatever, what are these, ripples? What are these called again? They're not rivets. <laughs> it's, uh, rib, riff, ruffles got there. That's what it just did to my ear. Oh, crinkled. Crinkle fries. Yeah. Oh, crinkle fries. I'm very hungry. What else? Is yeah, <laughs> what's new? <laughs> so here we have it, a mystery. Do you like it? I... Oh. Don't like that bug. Could have been a dust bunny. Yes, I do like it. Uh, this is a 10 out of 10, and I would highly recommend. Wow, if you came here for useless reviews run out based to your, off nothing. Run out to your nearest <laughs> retailer and pick this up. Wow. Good episode. Yeah, cheers. I mean, uh, let's smell it. Okay. This is the fun part, because I know what it is, and Ooh. you know what it is, but he doesn't know. Oh, that's what you think. Oh, good cinnamon, good, oh, nice. Oh, a little bit of char just came in. Like a little bit of. I think it smells a little bit like a, this is gonna sound weird to you at first, but I'll explain why. It smells a little bit like chili. Like, like beans and meat and ch chili? <laughs> yes. It's because of the cinnamon note, but also like, well, first of all, have you ever made like a homemade chili? No. So there I've is, never made there it. is often cinnamon in it. And I think there sure. was one that we made, there was a while there where we were doing like the Hello Fresh meals. And I think there was one that we made that had like some kind of like pumpkin or squash or something in it. I'm gonna be swatting oh. this bug this <laughs> episode. That happens often on this channel. We just live with our doors wide open. I got it! Oh my God, I did. Five points for Gryffindor. <laughs> Who are we kidding? I'm a Ravenclaw. <laughs> Apparently I'm. A coffee. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's different universe. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's a little squashy too, like a little pumpkiny, like gourdy, squashy. Yeah. This is this is very. There's a lot of spiciness in here, like sure. spices. Yeah, and a lot of. I feel like baking spices do remind me of just like fall and <sighs> like gourds and stuff. Oh man, since this is Mystery Monday, I'm immediately trying to categorize it. Right off the bat, I was like, oh, bourbon. But the more that I smell this, there's. It smells like a little rye, rye, ryeish, mm -hmm. relish. Mm, relish. I just cannot get away from like if somebody cut a gourd in half, like a spaghetti squash or a pumpkin or whatever, and uh, you know scraped out the seeds, poured a bunch of cinnamon and nutmeg and like pumpkin pie spice, because let's be honest, that's pretty great, and put it in a oven to roast. Yeah. Wow. Ready to taste it? Weird. Okay. No. Nope. Let's taste it. Okay. Oh my god. As advertised, it literally tastes like what I just described for smell. Mm. For me at least. That is spices all day. 
It's freaking good. I, again, I'm thinking about an Ambarana finish because of how much cinnamon there is. There's like almost like a little almondy note too, <clears throat> like a little bit like the almond and the oh. icing of the cookies, like a little at the end. Yeah, now that it's sitting, that's exactly almost like a almond muffin. Yeah. Like mm. now I want chili. Mmm. If you have any good chili recipes, put them in the descriptions in your comments. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. You can have a chili cook off in the comments. And then I hope like and then you know. all, all of the next tune in, the tune in next times for the next eight episodes are gonna be like, tune in next time when Kayla makes another one of the chilies from the comments. <laughs> it's delicious. It reminds me of a fall chili. <clears throat> yeah, this is fall all over it. Like, but in a in a different way though, than I feel like other ryes have been fall, like the, the short bale, bale. Yeah, the short bale. <laughs> uh, and the, uh, we just had one that was also very fally. Frick. Freaking butts, I don't remember. Anyways, this is more fall in like, yeah, like like spices and baked goods and yeah, like, like a pumpkin fresh bread. apple pie, but not not too apple-y. Yeah. Maybe uh, a pumpkin pie. Yeah, apparently chili. Oh. But I feel like the other ones we've had are very fall in like the stewed fruits and uh Yeah, like you know, a cobbler. Warmer. Like yeah. or, it's a cobbler? <clears throat> yeah, like a peach yeah. cobbler. Or yeah. Like, yeah. If you had to guess, okay. what is it? Ah, but is there a little bit of I'm trying to think if there's a little bit of, a little bit more of like a char. There was on the nose, there was a little hint of a char smokiness. No one knows. Okay, I'm going to guess what it is. Okay. What do you guess? Ah, frick. Frickin' A. I think that it is Doc Swinson's Exploratory cask, smoke on the water. Whoa. Is it? <laughs> Is this your card? It is Doc Swinson's exploratory cask. It is on Barana Oh, finish. I knew it. So you were very close. Frick. Is that? Is it that one up there? Is that the one that's the yeah, yeah, smoke yeah. on the water? Because that's a rye. Though, and I think this is just a bourbon. Yeah, this wow. is a straight bourbon. Well, don't say just a bourbon. Well, it's just it's a straight bourbon whiskey. Yeah. I because I was I was like, man, it's not not oh, quite like milk. I should have like, followed like my heart. Toast crunchy. Should have followed my heart and my gut and my whole torso area. <laughs> so, Doc Swinson's exploratory cask, Bossa Nova. Yeah. Uh, Formula one five three two five. Two nine. There's so many numbers on their bottles. Like, I love it, <laughs> especially the exploratory cast. I mean, it's just numbers. Fifty-six point four percent alcohol by volume. One twelve point eight proof. Release number twenty three dash o o o two. Oh, there's a big old story back there. I mean, it just says Bossa Nova is a genre. Well, there's a there's a, another story, but this one seems like so. This says Bossa Nova on the front, and it says Bossa Nova is a genre of Brazilian music inspired by samba and jazz, and li yeah. literally translates to new wave. But the word Bossa is also an old Brazilian slang word, meaning something done with particular charm. Oh, you love charm. Like, I love charm. You love particular charm. charm. <laughs> God. I love particular charm. What the hell? God, that's good, man. Yeah, I do really like their labels too. So it's fun. It like reminds me of like, like museums and stuff that carry like old, almost like medicines and things like that. Oh, sure. And yeah. this kind of reminds yeah, yeah. me of that. Like you'd the walk font in. font especially. Oh yeah, a little very, bit like, like bigger up top, and then sort of like line by line yeah, of like something yeah. like the. It's like you're getting a prescription in uh, yeah. 1872. It's a prescription of whiskey. Man, that's really good. I I mean, my mind I, it went to Ambarana. Again, yeah, and in that. my mind, I was like, but that, that's sort of where I went last time with, uh, there was there on one of the Mystery Mondays, and I was like, yeah. this tastes like Ambarana. And I guessed Ambarana. Was that the Still Austin? Yeah, no, I yeah. Remember. But that's where I went with this, and I was like, could it just be a, a bourbon that's pretty cinnamon heavy? Like, oh, I should have just freaking guessed. We it. got him again! And we got, I got him good! I got a little tinge of like, extra he did char. Guess, it's wild that you guessed Doc Swinson's disp and not Ambarana. It rem it, it, yeah, I don't know. Well, it also, though, yeah, I have a handful of Ambarana like, bourbons, and Doc Swinson's, to me, is one of the ones that is a little less in your face, Ambarana. So, like, I know Ambarana is very much a love hate thing, right? So, if, if you're an Ambarana hater and you're looking for, like, Still that type of, like you know, barrel 
influence. Um, like you want to taste it, but not have it be just like cinnamon. I would say that that this is a, a really nice balanced ambarana. I'm gonna do something crazy. And we're gonna try the bottle you thought it was. This is wow. Doc Swinson's Smoke on the Water. Okay. <laughs> I'm so damn excited. <laughs> wow, a mystery Monday and a double taste. This is all wonderful. in one. Thank oh, it's you. such a pretty color. It is very it's pretty. It's very like pink almost. It doesn't quite look pink there, but like when I was pouring it, it looks yeah. very pink. So <clears throat> this is a rye and uh, Smoke on the Water, I believe, is a rye that was finished in X peated scotch barrels, oh, I believe. God, they couldn't smell more different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so straight rye whiskey finished in peated scotch quarter casks, specifically. So much smaller uh, casks to age in, which generally means that, you know, the, the liquid is in more, the ratio of, wa of water. <laughs> uh, just, I'll figure it out. Um, so, uh, anyways, this is a rye. <laughs> There's... Hang on, let me just see if his batteries are dying. <laughs> oh yeah, that's clearly a rye. Okay, yeah, I, that was stupid. That's not stupid. Well, cause sometimes there are bourbons that are like, you know. Oh, you don't have rye. to tell me how confusing it can be. <laughs> wow, now it is just like cinnamon in your face when you smell that again. Oh yeah, if you go immediately from something <laughs> that's not at all that and you go back, it's just like, that's a cinnamon stick in like a, a hot milk Whoa. beverage. That is exactly like smoke on the water and a little salty too, like a little salty and... Oh. Interestingly salty, like pretty salty. Shoot, this reminds me of something. As and, and absolutely, all whiskeys do, and <laughs> I can't think of the thing. No, it absolutely like smoke smoke, like a little bit cigarette smoke. The smoke is there. It doesn't though, it doesn't present itself the no, same way that a peated scotch it's would. Not it's a not salting, like a wall not of smoke. No, it's in the taste more but than it is like in a, the nose. It's, it's a tinge. It's like a smoky, yeah. weird tinginess. That's tanginess. so interesting. I wonder how they like imparted that. That I feel like is Well, I think the they aged it in peated scotch quarter casks. They okay. finished it. Okay. Um, does it have an age at all? No. Oh, grassy rye meets sweet and spicy followed by notes of tobacco, mint, and lingering, lingering damp smoke. Yeah, damp that is smoke. the weird like tinginess. Like that's exactly how I would to describe it. To me, it literally tastes like. Uh, it is that like damp grass. Like I just like with smoke. I just got a little bit of like like ocean water in my palate a little bit because of the salt. Like I think it's really salty, and and I mm. literally can picture like the fog on the water, like smoke on the water. Like it's good. I, I will say like the Amberana is just really fun and like very yeah. fall and cinnamony and delicious. Like, I don't think that I could have it every night. It's a little bit on the sweet side for me. Like, and it's not necessarily because it is so sugary, but it just imparts oh. like the, the memory of sweets. October and November though. It's so good. That's, I mean, this bottle could be emptied. I feel like I was close, but so far away now after tasting them. Like I thought it was this, which the only reason why this like time this. I finally agreed to do two ah. bottle tastings. I wanted to prove how wrong wow. you were. Something though, I guess, must have associated Doc Swinson's. Ah, so close. We got him again, guys. Sort of. There's so literally close. no way that I would ever get so close as to guess like Doc Swinson's, but not guess the right one. I mean, I mean, I would lose my. Let's mind. face it. This was also just luck. Like it could have been any one of these bottles. Maybe there's a way for our patrons we can like get your only dram set up there and people can pick one for Mystery Monday and they can like message. Oh direct, yeah. They can like message directly or something. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll noodle on that. A secretive way for you guys to yeah, maybe you choose to a couple the of these Mystery Monday. Mondays. Yeah, if you uh, if you happen to be on on Only Drams, um, that's a an app um, that was created by uh, our friends at SLB Drinks. Like if you're like me and you have you are building a collection of whiskey. Um, it's just a really good app for, you know, inventorying what you have. And then you can also follow other people uh, yeah, and see other people's it. collections and stuff. So I didn't know you could share it until today. Yeah, OTB Whiskey on Only Drams. Uh, yeah, maybe for one of our uh, our Patreon things, we can have someone select the ne next mystery secretly for Somehow. the person. Somehow, we'll figure that out. I don't know. We'll figure it out. She's the math magician. Yeah, we'll figure it out. 
Oh god, not again. Thank you guys so much for watching. And... Tune in next time when Kaylin shows you how to bake the muffin with cinnamon in it. Literally never made muffins before. Well, how are you gonna show them? How Except to for do maybe it like. Or place. tune in next time when I've made some of your chili. Please put your favorite chili recipe in the comments. Oh my god, I love this idea. Never mind. Screw the muffins. She's making chili. Uh, chili reviews. Chili. <laughs>